friendships. Our next speaker is going to give us a personal story, sharing with us one of her personal friendships and what she learned from the experience. She's been a Toastmaster for 18 years and has done a remarkable job during that period of time, holding all the offices you can imagine, including very recently as the immediate past District 33 governor, she led our district to select distinguished for the first time in 27 years. When she's not masterfully leading Toastmasters, she also works as an oncology nurse at Cedar sinai She has advanced degrees in oncology and nursing. Please join me in welcoming today Kathy Cho. Lessons from my friend. Lessons from my friend. Kathy Cho. Now, 
as we travel the highways of life, I hope you will continue to cherish those special friendships that you have. It's time for me to reveal who this special friend is of mine. Many of you knew my friend. struggle to get out of first gear, especially in the early cold morning hours. I was gingerly depressed, the gas pedal, as it fought to get into second gear, then I'd have to ease up on it, and then it would ease into second gear. So what my man taught me was to grow old gracefully with ease and to accept my limitations. Finally, with our throwaway discards of society, my van wasn't new, but it still served a purpose. I had to give it tender, loving care, replace some old, worn out parts, but it still added value to my life. So cars are like true friends. They remind us that it's okay not to be perfect. And that slowing down, getting old, growing slower is a part of life. But with a friend's help, it makes, makes it easier. And also we should realize that letting go of something may not be the best decision. My previa van has gone to glory. <laughs> As we all do. It's been replaced by another van, or another Toyota, I should say, 